I want everyone to remember the unique experience NSO Week was. It recalled the many questions we were asked this week. Personally, those questions were, where are you from? What's your major? But the one question that really resonated the most with me was, why did you choose Pepperdine? Now, the more and more I was asked this question, I started to realize that my answer outlined a more foreign and deeper concept of vocation. Meaning, there's a deeper purpose for why I'm here. And there's a reason why my journey coming to Pepperdine was the way it was. Now, I want to talk to you guys today about that deeper purpose of why I came here to Pepperdine in my journey. And it's outlined by really these three instances. First, it was that all the schools I thought I was going to attend started becoming unavailable to me. I applied to a total of eight schools. Four of them were California state schools, and four of them were private universities. Ironically, Pepperdine University was the last school I even applied to. Um, I didn't know I was going to apply to Pepperdine until the day of my common application when I actually said, you know what, I want to even number of schools to apply to. So I said, why not? I'll apply to Pepperdine. I remember uh, a Pepperdine recruiter coming to my college and career fair. Sorry, calling, coming to my college and career fair, and I said, it's next to the beach. Sounds fun. Well, it, it doesn't hurt to go ahead and apply. So I did. At that time, I was more hung up on going to San Francisco State University. For some weird reason, it really attracted me. So I said, okay, that's the school I'm supposed to go to. Of course, until I actually went to San Francisco State University and did a campus tour, I realized, you know what, this is definitely not the school for me. The campus was very high schoolish, and that was the last thing I wanted. So then I went into a Syracuse University phase where I was dead set on going to Syracuse University. Of course, um, once I actually was trying to audition for the theater department, which was the major I was trying to get into, um, it was not that nice of a process. Um, it was very simple. I needed a one minute monologue from a contemporary playwright and a one minute monologue from a Shakespeare monologue. And that total, it was supposed to be three minutes. So three minutes self-tape audition sounds very simple. Um, this audition actually took me an excruciating seven hours to film. <laughs> For some weird reason, every time I would try to film it, I kept messing up on certain parts. I would never be able to do a perfect run through. The only reason why I stopped by the seventh hour was because I finally managed to get an actual run through without messing up and saying the words of the script. Even though it was an awful performance, I was so done that I said, you know what, I'm just going to submit it. To my great surprise, I was waitlisted to Syracuse. And it was very ironic because I actually found out I was waitlisted while at a friend's thing here in Malibu. So I thought that was kind of weird. Um, and then I was admitted to Pepperdine, but I was also admitted to another school that I was really considering, which was University of San Francisco. So this was the second instance that it was Pepperdine versus University of San Francisco. And I was always naturally urged towards Pepperdine for some bizarre reason. I couldn't really guess why. For example, every time I would try to go to University of San Francisco, something always came up. Something in my plans never worked out so I could actually go and see the campus. Um, our plans just kept getting contradicted. And I actually never was able to even tour the school, even though that was a serious decision in my college mission. I was, of course, able to tour Pepperdine. I'm from Simi Valley, California, which is a 40-minute drive from here. So it's very close and it's very doable. And the minute I stepped on campus, it felt very natural. It really did click. Um, it did help that I was right next to the beach because I love the beach. So I think that's a part of why it was very natural to me. And then I still, though, was very split in which school to go to because each school outweighed each other and actually did not make a decision to go to Pepperdine until the day of the deadline. It was literally the last day I could make my decision, and I couldn't put it off anymore. So I finally just went into my living room with my laptop. I opened it up and had two tabs on my internet browser. It was Pepperdine University and University of San Francisco. And then I finally just closed my eyes. For some bizarre reason, every time I would vision Pepperdine, I felt very appropriate. I felt very comforting, like a soft white light. And it, it really did urge me to utter the words, I choose Pepperdine, out loud. 
and my parents heard, so I couldn't take it back. So <laughs> that's when I really chose Pepperland. And of course, once I finally made my decision, I told all my friends, my family, everyone's like, okay, that's the one I secretly wanted you to go to in the first place. And I said, okay. But there was one, which will be my third instance, is when I actually told my birth mother that I was coming here to Pepperdine. She's originally from Mexico, but she speaks very broken English, and I speak very broken Spanish. The <laughs> communication isn't all that well. So I was expecting her response when I was going to tell her I was going to Pepperdine to be very nonchalant, be very, okay, good. She thinks college is just a good thing. She doesn't really know much about college. Um, she can't differentiate between Harvard University and Santa Monica City College. That's how far her knowledge goes to college. So I told her I made a decision where I was going. And I told her I was going to Pepperdine University. And to my surprise, she responded back, oh, in Malibu? And I said, yeah, in Malibu, how do you know where it is? She ironically actually used to work here. Um, when she first came to America, she used to be a cleaning lady for the faculty housing. So she hmm. actually was very familiar with the campus. And the only university my mom knew in the entire world was Pepperdine University. And I was like, that's such a huge coincidence. And that, to me, I could not get over that. And then it's that question that people kept asking me, why did you choose Pepperdine? I will tell them the story about all the colleges I thought I was going to. Just, it started not working out. I never failed to mention the seven hours to increase audition. And of course, the University of San Francisco fiasco, and how Pepperdine just felt so natural, and then that my mom ended up knowing Pepperdine for some bizarre reason. And then I started to realize that my answer was, in fact, deep. There's a purpose why I'm here. And really, there's a purpose why we're all here. My vocation is still ongoing. I don't know why I'm here. Maybe it's for something immediately that I'm destined to be here. Maybe it's something in my future, like in my career. But I'm just happy that I know, and it's comforting to know, that our journeys are really, have some deep purpose to them. Not only my journey, but all of our journeys as well.